everybody and welcome back to Living Like Larry. This is Larry with you, coming at you from rural Wyandotte County, Ohio. Uh, today I'm taking you out to show a couple of Wyandotte County's hidden gems. We have two covered bridges here I want to show you. A little bit about Wyandotte County, Ohio. It's in northwestern Ohio. We're about Oh, 60 miles north of Columbus. Um, it's named after the Wyandotte Indians that used to reside here. Wyandotte County's 408 square miles of area. And we have a population of between 22 and 23,000 people in its uh, last census. The county seat of Wyandotte County is Upper Sandusky. The first place we're going, we're probably about six or seven miles south east of Upper Sandusky here, uh, down the road from Harpster, Ohio. But that said, I'm going to take you to see our two covered bridges today. The first one I'm taking you to is Swartz Covered Bridge. The second one will be Parker Covered Bridge, and it is on the other side of the county. Hopefully I can get you some aerial footage with the drone. We're kind of going on between, it's nice and sunny, but sometimes there's a breeze, sometimes there's not. Here's a sign for Swartz Cover Bridge. Oh, of course there's a <laughs> truck turning off while. <laughs> Okay, so this looks like it is Wyandotte County Highway 130. <clears throat> and as always, I'd like to thank you all for watching my videos on my channel, Living Like Larry. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really like my videos, please hit that subscribe button. It's very important and then you also get uh, hit the notification and see when I have other videos coming up. I like showing you areas of Ohio that are interesting to see as long as well as other places I travel to. And this is a lot of Wyandotte County. It's flat mostly, a lot of fields, very big producers of corn and soybeans nice small town communities here. It's where I've spent probably 43 of my 50 years. Really great place to raise a family. It's a beautiful day today. It's about 83 degrees out. Sun shining. Beginning of August. Right up here, it looks like we have Swartz Covered Bridge. And like I said, it's located a few miles northwest of, actually, it says northwest. Well, maybe the highway turns around, so it could actually be a little bit northwest of Upper Sandusky, down the road from Harpster. It's located on County Road 130. There it is above us, in front of us, Swartz Covered Bridge, built in 1879. Has a 96 foot span and it's been listed on the National Registry of Historic Places since 1976. And it crosses the Sandusky State Scenic River. So we'll drive across it this way. And of course, people have to carve their names in it and write on it because that's what people do. Really beautiful bridge. So that was coming over Swartz Bridge, heading north. Actually, I think I'll stop and talk to this sheriff.
Hi. Good. Just doing a YouTube video on the bridge. <laughs> Not yet. I'm going to stop and walk through it. And Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah, I just wanted you to think there wasn't nothing funny going on. <laughs> Have a good day. Driving over it, heading south. So I'll go over here. Looks like it's got a nice couple pull-offs here. And we'll stop here. And here we are still at Swartz Covered Bridge. Gonna walk across it. Really nice location here. It's just out. In the middle of the country, no houses around. Right here on the Sandusky River, which is really shallow here in this area. Like I said, it's, I don't know why people have to do this to things. And this is a Howe Truss covered bridge. And I'll get more into that when I get to Parker. Like I said, they really take good care of these. It's just a wooden plank roadway. And Here's the other side, over the bridge, really beautiful, and of course, you know, Shayna was here, and Greg Grayson was here, Dog was here, yeah, why they do that, I don't know, and this you don't notice driving down the road, is the bricks, looks like probably to raise money, they sold some bricks, is right here at the entrance. Again, here's your view from the north side of the bridge. Really beautiful. So, we'll walk over here. A little bit breezy i'm gonna see if my drone my drone can handle it or not so i really want to get some aerial footage coming over top of it seems like every time i plan on doing this the wind starts blowing Got nice and mowed here so you can walk down this way down to the river and now we'll head north about 10 12 miles still in Wyandotte County taking some back roads here to Parker Cover Bridge and here we'll cross the Sandusky State River at Indian Mill which you may have seen on my short video of Indian Mill
there really is a lot of history here in Wyandotte County and Upper Sandusky to do with uh, the Wyandotte County Indians, the Indian Wars. Uh, Colonel Crawford was burnt at the stake in Wyandotte County. So, uh, maybe do a video on that sometime. Some of the history here. But, interesting thing about Upper Sandusky. A lot of people get this confused with Sandusky, Ohio. Which is where Cedar Point is. It's on Lake Erie. Because this is Upper Sandusky. But it has nothing which is 40 miles or so south of Sandusky, which actually has to do with the Sandusky River, where and how the river flows. So Upper Sandusky is Upper Sandusky because of its location on the Sandusky River, being on the upper portion of the Sandusky River. Yes, a lot of people get that confused, which I can see why, because you wouldn't think Upper Sandusky would be south of Sandusky. And here off of State Route 67 heading north, there's a sign for Parker Cover Bridge. Township Highway 37 out amongst the soybean fields. As I said, there was a lot of you know history with the Indians, and here's a monument. I'll stop by there on the way back. Um, and tell you about that. But I said there's you know a lot of history here with the Native Americans. You know when they plow fields, you can, people still come out and they find arrowheads and other old artifacts. So I think right around the corner here, another side road will be the bridge. Parker Covered Bridge. There's Township Highway 40. Whoa, big snake. <laughs> you can't see it. Wow. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> big, big black snake, I think. <laughs> Whoa. And here is Parker Covered Bridge. And we'll go across it from this side. Built in 1873 by J.C. Davis. And again, crossing the Sandusky State Scenic River. Here's Parker Covered Bridge heading south. They don't seem to have the nice pull off like uh, the Swartz Bridge did, but. I'll get off to the side of the road here and get a better shot. And here we are walking across Parker Covered Bridge. This says about five miles northeast of Upper Sandusky. Again, located in Wyandotte County. 
built in 1873 by J.C. Davis over the Sandusky River, same river that uh, Swartz Covered Bridge was over. Seems a little bit wider here, still shallow. But this does, it runs all the way to Lake Erie. It gets wider up by Tiffin, Ohio, and north of there. And here, oh, I was going to tell you, Parker Bridge built in 1873, bridge destroyed by fire 51791, which uh, I believe was arson. Someone decided the bridge make a good campfire. Cross over the bridge committee form 72991 to raise $150,000 to restore the Parker Bridge and also the Swartz Bridge. The committee's goal was achieved and the bridge was dedicated. 1025 and 92 federal and state proclamations were issued. And they did a really nice job restoring this. It's a shame that someone had to burn it down. And again, here, as in with the Swartz Bridge, you have the bricks with you know people's names some businesses and this also is a how trust covered bridge and for those that don't know what a how trust bridge is I'll try to explain it a little bit it is consisting of cords verticals and diagonals members the diagonals and the vertical members are in tension and the diagonal members are in compression it was invented by william howe in 1840 and this style were widely used in the mid to 18 late 1800s in the building of bridges that will take a walk across here just don't seem to have the graffiti which is good I don't know why people have to deface nice things, historic things, to let people know they were here, because most people don't really care. This one's got a couple houses around it and grown over. So, still breezy. I'm going to try to get, a, if I can miss the breeze, get a couple aerial shots a little bit. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, again, I'd like to thank everybody for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing the covered bridges of Wyandotte County. And if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Show me you like it. If you like my videos a lot and want to see more, Hit that subscribe button if you want notified when i put up new videos ring the notification bell and as always this is larry with living like larry here on the sandusky river at parker covered bridge thank you for watching and as always you know be nice to each other be kind to people you really don't know what someone's going through, so you can really make their day. I'm going to walk down here and see <laughs> I don't run into any snakes. This one is a bit longer than uh, Swartz Covered Bridge, 
Parker Cover Bridge has a span of 172 feet where the Parker Cover Bridge only had a span of 96 feet. Just beautiful. And it's great that they can keep these historic structures alive and restored. And right down the road from Parker Covered Bridge is the monument in memory of Chief Tarhi. Erected by the Tarhi tribe, number 145, in 1915. Distinguished Wyandotte Chief and Loyal American, Chief Tarhi died here in Crane Town in 1818. Like I said, a lot of uh, Native American history in this area. Just a little bonus to go with my covered bridges.